Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today's clip comes from CBS News with Democrat Party mouthpiece Margaret Brennan and her guest, a professor who very begrudgingly lets the truth slip out. And we're going to get right into that clip right after I tell you about the special free coin offer from Noble Gold. Why don't you let me fix you some of this new Mo Cocoa drink? All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua, no artificial sweeteners. What the hell are you talking about? The US dollar has lost 85% of its value since the dollar decoupled from gold, and the government seems hell-bent on continuing that tradition. From now until the next elections, the government can print as much money as they want. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. Gold is the one asset that has proven to withstand inflation. Invest in gold with Noble Gold Investments and you'll get a 24 karat, one quarter ounce gold standard coin for free. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. That's Noble Gold investments.com or simply dial 1-877-646-5347 the only gold company i trust and remember there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind in looking at some of the research you shared with us one of the things that stood out you are seeing this radicalization on both sides of the political spectrum. 30 million people, according to your numbers, think the use of force is justified to prevent Donald Trump from being president. 18 million think it's justified to restore Trump to the presidency. Exactly. What we're seeing is not simply um, a manifestation on the right. The, that is absolutely important. And there's no doubt that January 6th, the crowd that sieged the Capitol is something that has not happened on the left. We have another. Of course, as always, they can't just criticize the left. No, no. They have to reassure their viewers that the real threat are the Republicans and the right. He's not even correct because it was the left and Democrats who began this whole tradition of denying election results then using violence in response. As I've been forced to remind over and over again, the Democrats called the 2000 election stolen, tried to decertify Florida votes, and then tens of thousands of them rioted at Bush's inauguration and even attacked his motorcade, causing it to speed off, something that has never happened before. I'd show you the clip, but it comes from a Michael Moore documentary and it's copywritten, but you can see it at my Twitter channel uh, i'm sorry x channel find the links for that in the description and pinned comment then in 2016 after losing to trump democrats elements of the government and media falsely claimed it was stolen by russia and then democrats dressed up in isis like uniforms rioted at trump's inauguration which led to several police injured oh and by the way all of those charges were dropped you serious no one is above the law indeed again i'd show you the clip but then the video would get demonetized but you can also see that on my twitter X channel. Really quick, an interesting fact about the clip of that riot at Trump's inauguration. The newscaster who's reporting says that the Capitol had been blocked off to keep these rioters from entering. Interesting. About two and a half miles of downtown uh, Washington have been closed off around uh, the Capitol building and Congress. So police will have sealed off that area, preventing those protesters being able to get through. Strange, why didn't they lock it down on January 6th? If only they would have left some sort of clue. Lastly, out of around 120,000 pro-Trump protesters, only around 300 rioted. Where I'm from, we call that mostly peaceful. So yeah, the left and the Democrats started all of this. Never let them forget that. So I'm not trying to draw that equivalence. Oh, that was different. But nonetheless, what we need to look at are the sentiments on both the right and the left that are being radicalized to millions and millions of uh, Americans. What we can actually measure and see whether it's growing, shrinking, are the sentiments for political violence in the country. And those are growing. And it's important, not because every one of those people is going to commit political violence, but because it helps to legitimate political violence. And it is the pool of people that ultimately do commit acts of political violence. So unsurprisingly, the Democrats are way more radicalized than the Republicans in the right. And it's not hard to see why. Our media and most of our institutions endlessly propagandize this country with the message that opposing the Democrat Party is literally a threat to democracy. Trump's the leader that they're focused on right now, but make
make no mistake, whoever takes that position will become the target because it's all about stopping anyone that opposes their agenda by any means necessary. That's why we now have a Democrat special counsel and Democrat DAs who literally ran on indicting Trump and who secured their indictments from grand juries that were heavily pro-Biden. All this while they're raining down all of these ridiculous indictments on the sitting president's main political opponent going into the next presidential election. It means that they are prepared to destroy this republic in order to solidify their power. So getting Republicans or somebody on the right to do something is a high priority for them don't fall for it again all right folks that's all i have for that thanks for watching if you enjoyed it please hit that like button share subscribe make sure to leave a comment to tell us what you think about this clip thanks a lot and i'll see you all in the next one